drop my cyanide. Um, hey, it's Jabbo. Welcome to Breaks Are. This video is an experiment. I bought more Lego that I'm not going to build ever. So that's what's in this box. But I do want to talk, before I open this, I want to talk about something. I went to the Lego store, and we're in the month of April, and I haven't bought anything from Lego.com or from the Lego store. And I, I went there, I wanted to fill up my pick-a-brick cups, and I, I, and they had some things I thought about getting, but I can't get past that $18 price now. And I was just like, I want to get, I wanted to get some parts, but I also don't want to pay eighteen dollars for. It. And it just made me kind of sad. And then I'm looking around the store, and you could get the gift with purchase. Like they had the, the one that sold out online. The um, for whatever reason, the 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 food truck. If you bought the mod, one of the mod, three mod, three of the modders, you could, the jazz club, the um, the new one, the museum, and the boutique hotel, you could get the truck, and you could get the flower thing. So I thought about buying another one, another copy of one of the modulars, but I didn't. <laughs> and I also I was telling the store manager how I had my I was going to redeem my points to get the uh, Ninjago City thing, but you can't get that in stores. And then, but the the things that are available in the store aren't online now, and it's just, it was just frustrating. So I just thought, oh, I'm not going to buy anything. And then I'm looking around the store, and it's kind of sad because it's a, there were kids in the store. There were some parents, and one of them, uh, one of the store employees was playing with the Technic pullback cars with two of the kids and his dad, and they were having fun, and I think the dad was going to buy some of them. And it was, like, really great. And, it, and, the, and the thing is, that set probably isn't even for the kids of that age, but the dad wanted to get them because those boys really liked it. And I thought that was neat, but then I looked around, and I was like, I don't think there's a lot of good stuff in a f affordable price range for kids anymore. And I know Lego wants to stay focused on making the the, the toy kid friendly, but uh, the manager told me that she feels that way and that the um, they just seem to be catering to <laughs> adults more, but I think you can do both. I think you can have things that the adults like and have things that the kids like but as long as you keep making stuff like this that nobody likes nobody's happy uh i'm sure there's probably somebody out like this this is not lego's fault it's just marvel making crappy movies fault so this uh this is from walmart actually this this box came from walmart it's the uh, king namor's throne room i think i had bought some of these before to part out so i'm going to part out some more so I, got, I got three more so see it's not that interesting of a haul and i'll never build those sets ever ever i'm not even gonna keep one because i cannot see a world in which i'll look back and like i really want to build this and i wish i had built it um so yeah so i bought another set that i'll never build i'm going to part it out and i almost bought three more and these are only 14 80 so it's a decent price uh for them but there's just not enough yeah i just don't think there's good stuff in... so i've been trying to think more about duplo this year and i'm looking at the duplo section because one of the things i was like oh do they have a space duplo set they've been putting that stupid space logo on so many different things and it's crossing multiple themes like friends <laughs> is even dreams had a space set and i asked this is there a duplo one and he's like yeah so we went over there and found it and i was like it's lame it was very lame and and i don't have a picture of it they don't allow filming in the store which i wasn't trying to film in the store i wanted to take a picture of the set but it's like shit nobody stopped me i didn't i just didn't do it but um 
before I get to that, yeah, she, <laughs> it's kind of funny. They get um, so apparently there are a lot of people trying to film in the store, uh, and it's all the people <laughs> that don't know who the Brick Show is. <laughs> If you've been on YouTube long enough to know who the Brick Show is, let me know. <laughs> but um, they're still around. Uh, Jason actually just placed an order in my store last week. Uh, they do uh, a lot of shows and mock builds and stuff like that that they sell. But anyway, they, I think they have an online presence. Um, I forgot what I was going to talk about. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, these influ influencers. Uh, wanting to film, I'm like, and I'm looking around the store, and I'm like, there's nothing to see here. It's like the stores all look the same. You can see all the products online. Why do you need somebody to film it in the store now? Because it's just like, there's nothing to see. <laughs> but over in the the there were the clearance, there's a clearance section, and so I went and looked at the clearance, see if there's anything that caught my eye. And right beside it is stuff that needs to be on clearance. It's the classic theme, which I don't have a problem with the classic theme, but I almost wish it should just be a parts pack. They did a one that said space. So it had the space logo on it and it said classic. So it's like classic space. And it's just like, this is God awful set. It's just horrible. It's, and, and even the little, you know, with the classic, they'll have a few small builds they probably have instructions for them, just little tiny builds in there. And they were, it's like, it was the guy, it was 4.55. He got off at 5 o'clock. He needed to do something. His set was due. And he threw together some crap. And I'm sorry, whoever you are that designed the classic space set. It's one of the worst Lego sets. We, we filmed an episode of the AFU podcast that will be airing shortly. And we were talking about this, but it was other, I think it was a couple other sets that we saw that were in the classic theme with space. But this one is just, we won't, it's, if I was a kid, I, and you know, sometimes we, we, we get a little, um, we retroactively sometimes think that we thought a certain way when we were a kid because time passes by, but I'm pretty sure I would not like these. <laughs> pretty sure because <laughs> I was thinking as a kid I didn't like the basic sets uh, I liked the the builds like the town builds and the space builds that's what I had and I liked the Technic sets as a kid but I just I, I, I just I'm not really it, it's not really uh, there's not a lot of stuff that's interesting to me right now, which is very good because it's going to save me a lot of money. So I'll go out and buy this kind of garbage <laughs> to part out for the pieces and, and, and save my money on all that overpriced stuff that's in the stores right now. But anyway, it ended up being a lot longer than I thought I was going to talk. So I'm going to go. I'll be back tomorrow in a different shirt. And um, let me know if you know if you heard of the Brick Show. <laughs>